I'm basically just drawing that one leaf and the leaves around it. plants come up out of the earth and drink in the light and somehow I want to draw that. I'd like to feel the drawing coming out of the earth. So I'm lying on the ground here. I found a place to fit between the plants in this uh, trout lily colony. You can see they're all through the woods here. I love this plant, the trout lily. It's um, also called a fawn lily. It was awkward trying to draw. I I, uh, I didn't have an attachment for the little tripod, so I was literally holding the the camera over my head while I was drawing. Never done that before. Um, you can see in the drawing that I I uh, I was drawing the patterns of this leaf. Sorry, I'm, I can't see very well. Um, I was drawing the patterns of that leaf without concern for making a drawing of the leaf. I was interested in the modeled patterning, the light and dark of it. Um, I was up here about three days ago and wondering about this maroon green modeling that, that so perfectly uh, mirrors the the dappled light and shade. It's almost as if they are artistically uh, expressing it. Um, trout lilies uh, grow in colonies and they, they um, expand by corms and then little shoots. I'll see if I can find one. Um, 
and keep spreading that way. Um, some of them spread by, by pollination, but it's really a kind of a, a bulb growth. And the, the colonies can get really large and dense. Uh, I have watched this colony grow over the past 10 years. Uh, they have found uh, trout lily colonies uh, to be 300 years old, some of them. Um, I have no idea how they determine that. The trout lilies, uh, it's edible. You can, you can eat the leaf. Um, but only really when it's just first come up in spring. Um, and but really, what people would eat more is the corms, the the little bulbs. Um, you would want to, of course, be careful to to only pick them judiciously in where there's plenty of growth. Um, and they are anemitic, which is interesting. It's edible, but if you eat too many, you are going to throw up. So, <laughs> um, but they have a sort of sweet, sweet corn taste, uh, but a little bit of crunch to it. And you can roast them. Um, the, the Indians have medicinal purpose uh, uses for it. Uh, and I don't know how many herbalists are using it at all these days. I think as much as anything, it's the experience of feeling the forms and the the play of shapes and the the decay of edges and the growth and the germination of things that I get from making the drawings more than information. I mean, I bring these drawings back to the studio and often will have it out next to me by the easel or the painting table. But I, you know, it's like I forget to look at them almost. It's, it's what, what it brings into the formal invention in the painting, uh, the, the life happening that I think is, is what I gain by coming out and drawing. Um, Nobody would look at that and say it's a drawing of a, of a trout lily leaf, uh, but uh, it, it it's a kind of drawing that uh, comes from somewhere and not my my uh, you know um, trained hand, as it were. You could tell there was a little a little bit of an element of a blind contour approach. I often will not look at the page when I'm drawing. Uh, especially if I'm holding a camera over my head, but um, I really enjoy tracing the edges of things and uh, finding the vitality in that uh, in a way that I couldn't do uh, if I were like stepping back and making a likeness of it. 